Like I said, I'm John Pearson, um, Communications and, uh, and System Integration Oversight. So, um, my role is to ensure that all of the passenger information systems, the cameras, the signs, the phones, um, the, the data network that supports the ferry collection, um, as well as the dispatching systems and the radio network, radio communications are all functional. Um, so, the signs and announcements are part of that. Um, and with the uh, summary, I wanted to show what type of announcements we have. And we have a, a train approach warning. And that's an automatic notification to the public that there's a train that's happening, and that's tied into the track circuitry. So it provides an audible and visual reminder that a second train could be coming. So that alerts passengers that there's definitely a train or something on the track circuit, and that's announced at the entire station. And that can occur for anything that could affect the track circuit, either it's a high road vehicle, a Sunrail train, a CSX train, or, or an Amtrak train. And the next one, the most important one we're talking about is the train arrival notification. Um, and that's where we track the Sunrail trains via an onboard a GPS receiver. Um, there's a software application that predicts the train arrival times and it provides it to Sunrail.com and then provides a notification to the passengers at the platforms. That system is quite complex uh, to keep it accurate. There's a lot of moving parts and there's also some room for human error. Um, it first collects the consist information from the dispatch system. Uh, for example, with the P308, you made up a locomotive with the number 101, a coach 3003, and a cab 2008. So that information gets pulled out of the dispatch system. If that is manually entered by the dispatchers, the system automatically pulls that out and sends it off to the GPS vendor, which is why Tronics. That's also contained in the train schedule um, that's sent to Tronics. And then once that's processed, the train starts moving. Um, the electronic system is pulled for the coordinates of the train. Uh, some algorithms are run to predict those arrival times and serve those arrival times to Sunrail.com, as well as pushing the arrival announcements to the PA system. The way the current program is currently configured, um, we're automatically notifying passengers with an audible and verbal announcement about how many minutes of arrival or departure the next train will be. They're currently set for five announcements. They're occurring at one minute intervals. Um, there are departure announcements at the, departure announcements at the terminus locations uh, in the Marriott Point Siena, since there wouldn't be an arrival on the south bound trains there. And then there's a visual display of the train ID with minute countdown, so P305-3 minutes. Um, it's chosen to be short that way, so it's bilingual. And the auto portion gets a little bit more complex we start to announce the train ID as well as differentiating between it to northbound or southbound train and if it's departing or arriving and then if we have prediction information uh, we say it will be departing or arriving but if we don't and I'll get to that in a second we say it's scheduled to depart or scheduled to arrive so we're very specific on the words um, this next bullet talks about why we have to differentiate um, so the equipment that locomotive and the cab car gets reused once reaching the terminus, um, and that allows us to provide the predicted times correctly. Um, but trains initiating service, making that first run from that terminus station, do not initially get tracked by the GPS systems uh, vendor um, until almost arriving at the first station. So therefore, uh, there are departure, arrival, arrive, departure announcements occurring at Point Santa Ferry and arrival announcements per schedule at San Fernando City. But to provide announcements to people on the platforms, um, being that the train traveling south from Deberry to Sanford doesn't get picked up by the tracking system until it's at Sanford, so we at least say that it's um, there's a scheduled train. So why don't you pick it up? That's the GPS system vendor's system that doesn't grab it for some reason. We try to <laughs> get them to do get that. them to do that. The previous, so uh, I'll step back and say the original system for tracking, if you were. Um, when phase one kicked off with sunrail.com and gave your arrival times, trains would disappear off the website. Mm -hmm. Arrival times would be wrong. Uh, there was a fixed schedule and the GPS system vendor, Whitronics, they would track the train based on what equipment was supposed to be in a certain time frame. So if that train got delayed, then it thought it was another train. Things got all confused and they said, there's a solution to it. Send us your consist information and assign it to that train ID. Now we know exactly what the trains are. Okay, thank you. But it got complicated with the fact that they don't start tracking it until 
few minutes after it starts. Now, I was watching the trains coming out of Point Siena, and they do start getting tracked before they um, get to Pacific. Okay. That is a good thing. But we still have it hooked into the system, too. Potentially, it, it doesn't have um, the tracking information just for the schedule out. Okay. But we don't provide those scheduled trains at the rest of the stations, the scheduled times, only predictions. Okay. Um, the last bullet we talk about, all that information is dynamically assembled by short snippets of audio and text strings. So examples here, um, each of those phrases is what's programmed in the system, and you can see they're assigned a particular number in both English and in Spanish. And so the software takes that and assembles the phrase and sends it in the correct order uh, as needed. And then there's numbers and then the words for northbound, southbound, and letters. So right now we're using train IDs P. If we wanted to provide it a, a special train like S, we have all the alphabet program. And that's all done with the same um, uh, voiceover artist, uh, Sheila, who has all the announcements at the rest of the uh, onboard as well.